So this week there's huge drama unfolds in Emmerdale when there's a huge explosion at the mill and poor Nicola is caught up in all of this, isn't she? So why is she at the mill? She's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, Nicola um, has to go back to the mill because uh, Jimmy and herself had spent the night before christening Emma and James's flat, just out of sheer jealousy, because obviously Mill Cottage used to be where Nicola lived, and um, she's begrudging the fact that it's now been turned into two luxurious apartments, and it's not going to, it's never going to be her home again. So she comes up with this brainwave of let, let's go and uh, put our stamp on it before they get to. Um, unfortunately, the next morning they they sleep, um, they fall asleep there, wake up the next morning, have a another little bit of fun and they have to rush out. They leave behind uh, what can only be described as adult toys. And so they only remember this during an argument in the cafe where Nicola suddenly realizes neither of them has the bag of said toys. So she has to run back to the mill to get them. So Rakesh has set fire to, to the downstairs mm. part and Nicola is actually trapped upstairs. So that's, that's a very scary, what, t what happens after that? Well, she notices the smoke on, coming from under the door and obviously she has no idea what's going on downstairs because uh, uh, the upstairs is almost like cocooned from downstairs. So, And it's only as she goes out into the corridor and down that she realises the flat is on fire downstairs. She, um, she makes a dash for it, but unfortunately her dash is mistimed with an explosion and uh, hence she then gets scaffolding that pins her to the floor. So we don't even know if she's going to get out at this no, point, do we? No, she's trapped. We do see her recover, but she can't get out. She's, she's trapped. So what was it like filming all these dramatic scenes? Um, it was really good fun. We were, we were in what can only be described as like this massive aircraft hangar, which is called Vickers. Um, and it was a bit like um, something out of the apocalypse. We were sort of saying, you could film a really brilliant zombie movie around there. And it's, it's, it's sort of like, it's almost like a quarter of a mile long and it used to be where they um, built tanks years ago. It's, obviously it's empty now. And this little mill cottage set was in the middle of this huge building. Um, and yeah, and it was, it was, it's very technical when you film things like this. So the most exciting bit for me was actually watching the stunt lady Jane do it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask about that. So you had a stunt double do. Yes. What did she have to do? Well, she, was, she watches my performance as I come down the stairs to the point of cut. And then she mimics my performance and she carries on, does the next bit to the point of cut. And then I have to pick up where she's left off. So she, she's the actual one who does the explosion. Everything else is done by me because, the, you know, tricks of the trade. The scaffolding isn't very heavy. It's, it, you, know, you can lift it with one arm. It's down to the actor to make it look heavy and, and the actors who are lifting it to look heavy. But um, yeah, so she was the one who did all the work, if I'm honest. We, all I had to do was cough and scream. You're going um, away from the screen, you've had your first child last year. Yes. And how are you finding combining being a mum with working? Um, baby brain is real. Um, so sometimes, literally, if I've done a scene and they say, OK, OK, we, we finished with that scene, you kind of put it to bed out of your mind. And then they might go, no, no, we have to pick up. That's it. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like I have to relearn the scene again. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good, it's a struggle, um, because I hate leaving my little boy if he's upset or you know he, he wants his mummy, but some, you've just got to go to work. So in that sense, I'm sort of like, you know, I wish I could be a stay-at-home mum in that sense, but you know, having said that, being a stay-at-home mum's harder work than going to work as well. There is a bit of a rest at work.